Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the most highly requested video I have ever gotten on my channel. It is my brow routine um, and what I do to create my brows on a daily basis. So I, since I started actually, I've actually gotten so many requests on this. So I finally got the chance to film it for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy it. Very simple routine. Um, that I feel most people um, have their own way of doing it so this is just my way I hope you guys learn something from it though and are able to take that back into your makeup routine and how you do your brows so without further ado I'll stop rambling because I want to keep this short but I hope you guys enjoy this video without further ado let's go ahead and get started so getting into this tutorial, as you can tell, I have my face done. I haven't put on any lips, so that's why my lips look a little ghosty. But um, today it's very hot outside. I think right now it is 92. I mean, that might not seem hot for many, but it's hot for me. So I'm keeping the look very natural. I'm just going to do my brows in this video because I feel like this is my number one most requested video. And it's crazy to me because honestly, I don't feel like I have the best brows whatsoever like i feel like my brows are very difficult and hard to work with so hopefully they will be very easy to do in this video so i'm um, gonna go ahead and start first with a eyebrow spoolie if you have any spoolie um or brow pencil um or brow brush that has spoolie that works so this one's from morphe that i would recommend it's the morphe e29 this one has like the angled brush at one side and then it has the spoolie on the other so you can use this um very nice tool i think it was like seven bucks seven bucks i'll leave it on the description box below but this is a good option if you use gel i use pencil so um the angle side doesn't really come in handy for me but the spoolie side does so just going in and spooling my brow here so so what I'm doing here is just spooling the hairs through so that I know exactly where all my hairs are my sparse areas everything so now that that's done I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Anastasia brow definer in soft brown I love this pencil because it has that angled tip here so you can really see it has a very angled tip so it's very nice to get into those hard to reach areas and just get in there and carve things out so I'm just gonna start off the beginning of my brow and I'm gonna draw a line from here to the outer tail now what I like to use as reference is when you have your pencil or when you're doing your brows just in general mental note is right here is where you want to start your brow so you line up your pencil to your nose and the the start of your brow that's where you want to kind of lightly go into it with then you're going to go clockwise and right here is where you want your arch to be so this will be the highest point of your brow and then you go to the end of your eyelid and your lash line and this is where your tail should end so it doesn't have to end specifically right there but you don't want to go further than that so just a little tip to keep in mind so one two and three so just something that always helped me when i was starting off with my brows coloring them in so what i'm going to do now is just go underneath the brows make a line from start to finish to create a shape on my brows So now that I have the brow, the line under my brow, I'm just going to go in with the spoolie and blend that upwards into my brow. It may seem a little harsh at first, but once you blend it in, it kind of starts to look more like brush hairs or it looks like natural brow hairs. So um, just doing that and it may get a little messy in the front here, but that's okay because we're going to go in with concealer, which is something that I personally like to do. So just brushing upwards with my spoolie 
And then this is why this spoolie comes in handy because you can see just how well it blended out that brow and now it looks nice and like natural versus a little blocky as it was a second ago. So just blending it out like that. And then now that my the bottom is done, I'm going to go back in with that brow pencil and I'm going to line the top very lightly. So basically what I'm going to do is go into any sparse areas that are right here and just kind of fill them in as they, the hairs grow. So if the hair is growing down, if it's growing up, just kind of filling it in so it bridges those gaps but it doesn't look heavily overdrawn. So that's what I'm going to do now. Now that I have the shape down, as you can see, both brows are pretty much filled in. Now what I'm going to do is clean them up with concealer, and I go in with MAC Select Cover Up Concealer in the shade NW20. I like this concealer because it's super, um, super sheer, so it's not going to be like heavy on my eyes or on my eyebrows, so it's just very easy to blend out, very sheer um, coverage. So gonna do the job but not be too thick so I just place a little bit on my hand and then I go in with this little applicator and just clean up under my brow here and this helps clean up any mess so you can see now from here is all cleaned up good to go and then this side here not much of um it wasn't too messy on my brows today, which was surprising, but um, for here, you know, it just cleans up underneath if there's any extra coloring or whatever the case may be. So now that I have the concealer underneath my brows, I'm going to go in with this like no-name brush. It's basically a flat liner brush and I'm just going to blend this out with this brush. So just blending out that concealer now and blending it downward. So I'm just kind of smudging it where it's at and then bringing it down this way so it gives that nice highlight to the brow and it cleans up that area. And then with whatever is left, so I don't go on top of the brow, I just go underneath it with concealer because I feel like when I do it on top of here, it really just brings out those brows like no other. So I don't know, I don't. that's just not my preference. If it is your preference, you can always go on top and go and just carve out the whole brow in its own and then it'll give you a nice clean look. But for me, I just like to keep it very neutral and I'm just going to kind of clean up this part underneath only. And then what I like to do is with whatever is left on the brush, I just kind of flick it on top wherever it needs to be cleaned and on the sides here. So like this and then on this side here, just clean up this brow as well, kind of clean up the middle because with just brushing through um, with the spoolie, you can get product sometimes in the middle here. You don't want to look like you have a unibrow, you know? So. Just like to clean that up and then go on this side here, clean up the tail. I really like it because it just makes it super sharp, which is a very nice brow. So from what it looks like, they look pretty good. I will say that they, my eyebrows 
cooperated with me today. And now for the final step, I'm just going to go in with Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. With this gel, um, there are plenty of brow gels out in the market, so you can find one. I believe Colourpop has one that's like 6 bucks. I'll leave it down below. Um, this one, I want to say, is 15 I'm not good with pricing, but I do buy this one all the time. Um, but any clear brow gel that you have, or even if you have a tinted brow gel, you can go over your brows there just to give it more dimension. I like this one because after a while of using it, the color from your brow kind of transfers into the gel and it almost gets like a, a tinted brow gel. So that's what I like about it. So I'm just going to take the wand and you can kind of see it has like that color in it from me using it on my brows already. So I like it because it just builds those hairs. It kind of meshes the two together. It's almost like setting spray for your foundation. It just meshes your brows with the color that you put in it and it just makes it look a lot more natural so I just like to flick this into the brows like so and just brush it through and this really sets your brows as well for the whole day so because of that nice natural look and then for the other one as well Alrighty guys, so that completes the brow tutorial. So as you can see now, my brows are defined, nice and clean. And it's really a very simple process. I mean, I feel like it takes me forever <laughs> because I am always like rushing and then they just do not cooperate. But today that I took my time, they cooperated. So that is basically all that it is for my brows. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, it's my most highly requested video it's crazy to me but it is i get questions all the time on how i do my brows so that was pretty much it this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed it as always i appreciate your guys's continued support and i will see you guys on the next one bye guys